Hello and welcome along and welcome to this guide to sheep in Farming Simulator 19. In this video, we're going to be covering sheep in the vanilla version of the game. So we have no mods enabled that should affect the sheep at all. Uh, and we're not running seasons, so the changes that uh, are done by that mod are not covered in this video. That will be covered in a separate video later. Um, same for Maze Plus and the Maze Plus Forage extension. We will be covering the changes to sheep and other animals uh, in that series too. Uh, today, it is purely how the sheep behave and how to deal with them in the vanilla game uh we have here on felsbrunn this is a new farmer setup uh we've added the sheep in uh, you can find them in under the placeables mod uh placeables section of the shop under animal pens and the pen we have here is the sheep pasture that holds 80 sheep uh, and would normally cost uh, 65,000. Uh, we currently have 12 sheep of differing uh, ver uh, differing versions here, and we will go over that in a moment. In fact, let's begin with that. Uh, we'll head out of our sheep pasture here. Close that gate. Um, and there are two ways to purchase sheep in Farming Simulator 19. Uh, one is from the husbandry or from the animal market, animal dealer which is uh in our case over here we'll just visit this uh, and this is the animal dealer in felsbrunn and you can bring an animal trailer here that will cost you about uh 24 000, i think is the cheapest under animal transport uh, any of these three can be used at this point uh and it's uh yeah 24 000 is the cheapest the other way is to head over to your uh pen and head into the unload point for it. So we'll get back out of it here. And here you can press R to get your animals delivered to you. Now it costs a uh, hundred or uh, right, well, costs a hundred pound per sheep delivered or whichever currency you have enabled in the game and uh and yes so it takes the price of each sheep from 1500 to uh 1600 uh per animal now there are four different types of sheep uh you have white brown black and white and black and other than their colors there is no difference between them however i recommend that you purchase one color of sheep to work with on your farm and as we go through this the reasoning for that will become apparent we now have uh we currently have 12 sheep in here uh three of each of the different varieties and if we come into the escape menu here and go along to the fifth tab uh, you can see the productivity and the layout of our sheep so we'll go over this screen quickly uh, to give you an idea our productivity is currently zero um, and our reproduction rate similarly is zero and we've produced no wool yet. Not surprising as we have just bought all of the sheep. Uh, the cleanliness is 100%, the water is zero and the grass and hay are zero. Now in order to increase our productivity, we need to increase these two values here. So we need to uh, give them some food and give them some water basically. Now, each of your different types of sheep, they are listed separately here. And this is where the reproduction rate comes into it. Uh, you are, and getting a single type of sheep helps you. This here is based on each type. So your productivity will be the same across all of your three types because uh, this pen information covers all of them the same goes for the wool this here lists the wool for all of your sheep what it doesn't list here for all of your sheep is the reproduction rate the reproduction rate is dependent on how many sheep of each type you have so a black a sheep black and white will have uh, x production rate sheep white will have x production rate so what we'll do is we'll get these fed and watered and we'll demonstrate this further to do that we've got our fent favorite uh 511c here uh, and the first thing we're going to do is feed the sheep uh, now they take either straw uh, sorry hay or grass 
Uh, we have a pile of hay bales here. Now, you can feed them either bales or loose. Uh, both will work just as well. Uh, loose maybe give you a little bit more accuracy in, in what you got. And I think bales are, are easier to store. Uh, first bale in. And you can see that the 4,000 litres from that bale have gone in. And if we press on here, you can see we now have 4,000 litres of hay in here. Uh, now... That's given us about two thirds full for our sheep. And you can see that all of our sheep are displaying the same information for this. So we're going to add a second bale in now. Uh, the idea behind this being to top it up to its fullest capacity. And you'll notice the difference here is that this bale will not disappear. It will remain in the feeding area. So we just place that bale down pull it out and the bale is still there but if we look in our menu here we now have 6,000 litres of feed for our sheep and if we come back out here and spike this bale again you can see we've got 2,000 litres left in the bale so it will only take from the bale what you need in game uh, so don't fear putting a bale with more on in it uh, than uh, than is remaining uh, you will be absolutely fine uh, it will only take what it needs now for our other thing is we need some water and to do that you will need something like this this is the joskin aquatrans xl uh, you can find this in the shop under animals uh, it's actually the first thing listed uh, and this holds 7300 liters of water uh, on Felsbrunn you can get water from the nearby lake uh, in order to fill it but uh, I have pre-filled this so let's just pull this alongside and if we press I to unload you can see the water fills up the water trough and with that done, we can have a look in here. And we now have 2,400 litres of water. So for our 12 sheep, over a period of two days, uh, they will take, uh, well, they take each sheep 100 litres of water, day, water a day and 400 litres of uh, feed per day, uh, which is pretty good. I'm, uh, you know, that's, that's not a huge level per, uh, per animal uh, but it works really really well so what we're going to do now is speed up the time a bit uh, we'll see if we can get that reproduction rate going a bit uh, and we'll see if we can start producing some wool as well time has passed and it's now the following morning and you can see the change this has made. We now have a reproduction rate for each of our sheep. And uh, and you can see, because we only have three of each sheep, it is pretty high uh, before we're going to get another one. Um, cleanliness is down to 6%, and we'll show that in a minute. Water has gone down uh, a little bit, and you can see that both the water and the grass and hay have gone down about the same. Uh, and you can see as well here, that we now have grass along the bottom here and uh, and this is the cleanliness so the 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 how much it needs cleaning is uh, is by how much their feed has overflown so what we're going to do is we're just going to turn around here drop this off like so and grab ourselves a bucket so we have one prepared here in position so pick that up like so and yeah it's just a case of running the bucket along the front of our sheep area here uh, picking up all of this grass and you can see that it turn it goes into there as well we're catching it at the moment and tipping it a little bit what i want to do is collect up the rest of this and then yeah you can see that we produce we haven't produced a huge amount so we probably produced about 70 liters overall uh, and you can see that that's topped back up a little bit so that is just them going over and uh, and doing a bit so we'll drop this bucket off now over here like 
that and then we'll head around here because we do have the beginnings of a wool pallet so they produced some wool uh, so far overnight it's been about uh, it's probably been about 24 hours since we got our sheep let's just grab that and we can see exactly how much wool we have uh the only other indication we have for the wool is here so we've got 338 liters uh so we're about a third of a wool pallet so far and if we pull this up here we can just double check that amount just to show you that that is uh, that is a number that is overall for this uh, because then I want to demonstrate this reproduction rate. So there you go. 338 uh, litres of wool has been created so far. So if we back this off, uh, that will then keep generating into there. Now what I want to do is we're going to add some more sheep into here. We're going to add nine more sheep of one particular type. Just so that I can show you this whole reproduction rate thing. So we're going to take the black and white sheep. And we're going to add uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Confirm that. And we should now, looking in here, have 12 of the black and whites. And if we speed up time a little bit more. And about an hour later, and you can now see that... While our reproduction rate for the other types of sheep is still up in the 300 odd hours, the reproduction rate for our black and whites has dropped to. The reproduction rate for our black and whites has dropped to 80 hours. So it's it's quite a dramatic reduction uh, doing that, but. It's, uh, you can see why really you want to have a single type of sheep uh, in the standard uh, vanilla version of the game. So there we go. That is a pretty good overview of the sheep. Uh, you get a thousand, uh, you get a thousand liters into uh, one of these wool pallets, as I said earlier. It's worth about a thousand pounds per thousand liters uh, as you can see here actually pretty good price at the moment 1256 uh, so each pallet will produce about that much uh, you get enough sheep in here and you will uh, get an animal uh, a new animal on a regular basis uh, which you can sell for a thousand pound each or you can put into your wool production i would probably uh, get yourself a decent number of animals uh, with a, a nice little bit of overhead i mean this holds about eight 80, uh, this holds 80 animals this um, so if you've got like 75 animal uh, 75 or, or somewhere between 60 and 75 uh, you'd then be able to sell off uh, a reasonable amount every so often and uh, and make your money back uh but uh, that is where we're going to leave it for now if you have any questions please feel free to uh, put them in the comments below or to pop by my twitch live stream i am live every tuesday wednesday friday and sunday for now though all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye